everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is day one of my room makeover and I'm a little nervous for this because I kind of set out this challenge that I kind of want to redo my room with only secondhand items where I'm thrifting everything for my office or like 99% of everything for my office. So it's going to be quite the journey redoing my whole bedroom being that I have to go hunt for everything and scour Facebook marketplace for hours and hours every single day until this room is complete. So today I am off to the thrift store and I am going to be looking for hopefully some mid-century furniture for this room just because I was looking on Facebook Marketplace and I just don't have the budget to get mid-century furniture on Facebook because they range from $500 to like $5,000 some of the pieces on there and I'm hoping to pay like thrift store prices. So we're gonna go out out away from Vancouver hoping we can find some nice items that are mid-century that aren't $500. So we're going to be going to a lot of thrift stores today, but before I head out to the thrift stores, I'm just going to give you an overview of what we're working with in this room. So during my recent thrift trips, I was able to find some really cool decor. So I'm a little bit ahead of the game where I do have some nice thrifted decor here. I absolutely love, love, love this lamp here. I have a whole bunch of vases. I have some candlestick holders. I even got this jewelry box. Like, look at this. Isn't that adorable? I, I love it. And then I also started to build up my plant collection just because I want this room to have lots of plants. I found some candles that I'm hoping to do, you know, like the TikTok candles with those. And then I also found two of these packages of mirrors. They are from Ikea and you can see right here what they look like. They are the wave mirrors and I am so excited for this because on my Pinterest board for what I'm kind of going for this room, I've been pinning so many mirrors that were kind of like an organic kind of wavy shape. And I was just so pumped to be able to find a similar style at the thrift store and they are brand new. So this is kind of my setup right now. It's, it's bad. I'm hoping to get a vanity for over here so I can have a nice mirror so I can actually see myself when I'm trying on clothes and I'm doing thrift hauls. I'm hoping the vanity will have lots of storage for all my fabric. I'm hoping to get some more decor for the back of my filming wall here. And then I want a new desk and maybe some side tables so I can have some plants and stuff beside me when I'm filming. But other than that, um, I don't, I don't know what else to get. I'm kind of just going to the thrift store and seeing what we find, hoping something sparks my interest and that's my plan for today. First, I am going to the furniture to see what we have here. Like, look at this. This is incredible, the amount of stuff they have here. What the heck? Oh my goodness. I'm really digging this vintage one. It even has wheels down here so you can move it easily. It doesn't have like the biggest storage. Like I was hoping to get more storage, but I do like that I can just like sit here and like maybe do my makeup or just, just sit here. I don't know, have a little stool that goes in. Oh, I like this one. I just love like the two like different tones of wood here. I don't know. I just love it so much. I could also do new handles. Or actually, I don't even know. You might just want to keep it as is just because it is vintage. Wouldn't this be the best couch ever if I just sat here and did my thrift hauls? I kind of want to get this guy right here. I think he'd be really nice decor. Okay, so I'm end up gonna get this cardigan, this little jewelry box, and this adorable lamp, or it's like a lamp candle, where you put your candle in there and then it's a lamp. So that's my haul from this store. I think I'm gonna get these. It's only a dollar for them. Look at this green rug. Oh, I love this color. It's only $20 and it looks like it's, it's brand new, but I don't know. It also could look like just grass in my room too. So 
So unfortunately, I didn't find any furniture, well I found furniture, but there was none that were like just just perfect so I ended up not grabbing any furniture today but I did find some more home decor so I'm gonna quickly show you the home decor that I found today so the first thing I found was this little lamp where you just put a candle in and then it kind of makes a lamp so I thought this is really cute this one was a dollar fifty and then at the next door I ended up finding these two flower shapes for candles so I picked these ones up they were only fifty cents each and then I also found this butterfly. I don't even know what you would call it. I guess like almost like a jewelry holder. You open it up and oh my goodness. I was so excited when I found this. This was only $2 and it looks like it's handmade. If you look here, it looks like it's hand painted. So it's like a handmade clay piece and I'm just over the moon with it. It is gorgeous. And then the last thing I found, which is probably my favorite thing, I found this mushroom lamp at one of the value villages and I, I could not contain my excitement just because I've been looking for a mushroom lamp for so long now, or not really, I've been looking for a mushroom lamp for like a week now and they're very expensive. If you go into eBay or Depop or anywhere, they're gonna be like five, 500 to like a thousand dollars like this is not the actual mushroom lamp because you put a candle in this one like the other one but it's it's close enough for me i ended up getting it for 6.99 i'm i'm just like i couldn't believe it when i found it at the value village so all that being said i need to look for some furniture because all i have is decor for this room now and i also need a new chair so I'm gonna just go on Facebook Marketplace for hours now and see what I can find on there. So I've been on Facebook Marketplace all day long and I'm happy because I actually found some things. I didn't just waste my time all day. I actually found some things. So the first thing I'm actually going to pick up tonight is this vanity here or console table. I'm not really sure what you call it, but it's really pretty. It's $60. They painted it themselves. So I'm really happy with it. It's really cute. It's not too big. So it'll fit nicely in this corner. And then I'm going to have this circle mirror above it. And then I'm just going to have some decor. I, I'm just very excited for it. The next thing I'm picking up are these two vintage Ikea chairs in. I can't believe I found them. They're two for $100. They are made in Italy. They are leather. They are nice wood. I am just, I am just thrilled about it. And they are $100 for both of them. And then lastly, the last thing I'm picking up tomorrow is this shelving unit. And this is also from Ikea. It's not vintage. I think it's like a year or two old. And I'm really excited for this one because I was looking for a shelving unit that I could put on this wall here. So when I'm filming, I could have all of my vases, all of my pots, all my plants, just everything behind me. And then that will be my background because I was really stumped about what I should do for this wall. I didn't know if I just wanted some frames up there, but I really just wanted to show my thrifted decor so I'm excited I found this and this one was or it is gonna be $90 so not the cheapest not the most expensive in the meantime I also had to clean this circular mirror that I purchased from the thrift store for $6.99 um, I thought there was only paint on there but when I started scrubbing off all the paint I realized they actually covered up a decal with all that paint so it was a lot harder to get off than I anticipated and I gotta say it probably took me about three hours to scrape it all off. So I need to do a little update before I get my day started. So today is Sunday so that being said I need to get this room semi organized for tomorrow because I need to do some work in here tomorrow there's a lot of things I got to do today I have to paint the dresser I have the green paint and I'm hopefully gonna be able to finish it today we'll see how long it takes it's not that big so I'm assuming it won't take that long but I do have to sand it before another thing I want to make today which I don't know the whole time I want to try to attempt to make this little swirly thing that I'm gonna put around my mirror. This is a sample of what I'm kind of thinking before the circle mirror is I'm gonna make it out of clay. I ordered the clay on Amazon last night. It's supposed to come today. So once I get that, I'll be able to hand make it and then it has to dry for I think 24 to 48 hours. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I went to the Home Depot this morning to get more supplies and this bad boy was there so 
I picked it up. So according to my research, when you're painting furniture, you're supposed to first clean it, then sand it, then prime it, and then paint it the color you want. But I kind of skipped a few of those steps where I just sanded it and then I painted it and it worked out for me although I'm not going to recommend it and then I also chose this pretty green color when I brought this dresser or console table whatever you want to call it home it was just a little too plain for my liking so I decided I wanted to add some more color to my room so I picked out this fun bright green color and then once I was done the first coat, I went and I picked up my shelving unit and then I also picked up a new leg for my desk so I could put my sewing machine on it. And then once I got home, I continued to paint and I got my second coat done. So the next thing I'm gonna do while my dresser dries is I purchased all of these candles from the thrift store. So I'm gonna try bending them and see if I can make some cool shapes, make some twisty candles and maybe some candles that stand up right. So I'm gonna put this into some hot or warm water for 15 minutes and then we'll see how this goes. So they've been in there for 15 minutes now so I'm gonna try with the red ones because I don't really want the red ones. These are kind of my practice ones. So the first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rolling pin and I'm gonna roll it out and then I'm gonna try to twist it. It's gonna hopefully look like this candle. So these candles actually just have a thin red layer over top so I'm actually just gonna peel this off because I prefer this white slash pink candle underneath anyways. Here's my sample candle. It looks a little bit rough just because I haven't got all the red off, but once I peel all the red off, it's gonna look really good. And it was actually really easy. Like it's so easy to twist. I thought it was gonna be a lot more difficult and maybe it would break, like I might have to waste a few, but definitely this one is really easy. So I'm gonna try a different one now. I think that's pretty close. I think it looks pretty good. I got it so it stands up on its own. So this is the next one I just made. So this is how my console table slash vanity looks. It's all painted now. I'm still waiting for it to dry. It's a little sticky, almost dry. So tomorrow morning, hopefully it'll be dry and I'll be able to start putting things on. And then my other table, my desk here, I'm gonna put this leg thing on and I think it just sits on top. So I need to remove these two legs because I'm not a, I'm not a fan of these legs. So that is why I purchased this one on Facebook. And then it also has this extra little shelf so I can put more, you know, storage there. So that will be very helpful. And then I'm also gonna move this desk, I think in the corner over there. And then I'm gonna put mirrors here. sat here in this desk for like 10 minutes now reflecting and I think I need a bigger tabletop. This is feeling a little small. So I actually lied. I bought one thing brand new. I ended up buying a brand new carpet from Ikea. This is what it looks like here just because I don't know how I feel about buying new carpets because I don't really know how to clean them. Like I don't really know how to clean a carpet unless you go get dry clean. So I just thought hey I can splurge and get a brand new carpet for my room. I think it was only like 60 or 70 dollars for this. So I'm gonna take this out before I start putting the shelf up here just because I will go to move that afterwards. So I'm gonna figure out where I wanna put this carpet. Oh, whoa, it's big. Whoa. That was my fault. Anyways, like I was saying, this is a really big carpet. shelf behind me and a whole bunch of decor which I am so excited about I think it looks so good I'm gonna rearrange it again probably a few times before I really get the layout I want but I'm just happy it's up my decor is not on the ground anymore just because I almost broke a few things so many times just because I didn't have room for it but now I do so it's finally time to try to 
do this mirror project here. Don't know how it's gonna go. I'm not very familiar with air dry clay. I've only worked with actual clay, so I'm assuming it's very similar, but I, I really don't know. I need to knead this air dry clay here and get it all soft. I, I don't know. Oh, it's white. I don't know why I was envisioning this to be like gray, like normal clay. Let's start working this to get it all warmed up. It says I need moist hands, so I gotta get some water. So the first thing I did to make this mirror was I took a chunk of the clay and I warmed it up with my hands and I kind of just kneaded it like you're kneading dough. And then once I had that, I went and I rolled it out into this long snake. You can see me doing this. I had to do this several times because um, we, I had to make it really, really long in order to keep this one continuous strand so I can make this wave around the mirror. And then I just kept attaching them to one another so it was just a continuous long snake and then eventually I got smart and I traced the mirror onto a piece of paper and then started making the shape on the paper and then I had some saran wrap underneath so it wouldn't stick and then I also used some water because it did start drying quite quickly in order to smooth it all out and attach everything and I'm finally done it looks so cute I am so happy with it I am hoping it dries all right this is what it looks like up close i think it looks great i don't want to work with it too much i don't want to ruin it so i'm just gonna leave it here let it dry here i'm not even gonna move it for 24 to 48 hours and it probably wasn't very smart because it's right by my door so hopefully i remember it's here for the next day or so but i think it's gonna look so cute on that mirror but other than that i still need some artwork so i still need to do some more thrifting either to get some frames or to get some artwork because I do need something above my my desk here. I have my pegboard that I'm putting up, but I need something else to go there. And that's like my only spot on the wall that I just don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I just found the most perfect dresser for my bedroom, even though I already just bought a dresser, but I'm thinking about getting this one and maybe selling the other one I just bought. I don't know. Oh my goodness. It is, it's perfect. I'm just seeing if it, if it will fit in my car. I just got my tape measure. So let's, oh my gosh, I, I can't even talk. I'm so excited. Here it is. It is absolutely perfect. I am gonna paint this, the wood here, but I just love this top. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I bought it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other vanity that I already have, but I got another one. <laughs> it didn't fit. Mm, no. Oh no. Now that I have another dresser to refinish this project is just getting delayed and delayed by the day because i keep changing my mind i changed my mind and got a different one so i have to sell the other one and i also have to refinish this one here i'm not going to do anything to the top because i love 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 the marble finish at the top i'm just going to be repainting the wood part here and i'm going to do it green the same color i had before because i i really like that green so i'm hoping it matches the marble top i i feel like it will hopefully but i think i'm going to leave the inside normal it's just wood like maybe if I really want to be that extra I can paint it green inside but on this side it has really cool wallpaper and then it's the same in the drawer so I kind of want to leave that for now so maybe that's a future project for me to finish the inside but for now I'm just gonna finish the outside of this whatever you want to call it so for my second dresser now I decided I'm gonna I'm gonna do it the right way so I started off by sanding it and man sanding it it changed the color completely it was so old that it actually looked like a dark wood but it actually was a light wood after I sanded it and it actually wasn't that bad of a color but I decided I still wanted to paint it so I started off by priming it this time I actually did prime it I was pretty happy that I actually decided to do you know the extra step and I think it helped a lot so I did two coats of that primer and then the next day I started painting it So it is the next morning now. The primer was dry last night, but I did two coats, so it's all good to go now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and paint it green. 
So for the paint, I ended up using the exact same paint I used on the other dresser just because um, I, I, I bought it, I liked it, and I thought it would look nice with this one. So I used the same one. I ended up doing it two coats again. I waited four hours in between, and I believe that was enough time. I like, made sure it was completely dry. It was also in a warm room because it was very, very cold outside. Surprisingly, the temperature of your space actually matters a lot. So if you wanna paint some furniture, make sure you do your research before you start because it, it'll, it'll help you in the long run. Just, just research. So I have the first coat of the green on my dresser. It is drying now. I have to wait four to eight hours for it to dry before I can do my next coat. So now I'm starting to work on things in my room now. So what I'm deciding right now is I need to figure out what color I wanna paint the little swirly thing around my mirror. It's gonna go above the dresser. So the top of the dresser is like a marble pink brown. The dresser's green now. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what color to paint the little swirly thing. I don't know if I'm overthinking it just because a lot of my room is wood and brown. So I really wanna add more color, but I'm worried that I might add too much color in that corner. So after some research on Pinterest, I decided that I wanted to do it a yellow you know light cream color for it i didn't want it to be too vibrant i thought hey let's just make it you know super simple and it won't clash with anything so i finished painting it and now i have the little squiggly thing on top of my mirror and now that i look at it i'm just i just have like a gut feeling i gotta do something bright i look around my room and it's all brown and i really want to add more color so i'm gonna paint this again and i think i just want to do a blue or a pink I'm just gonna go for it. So after some more Pinterest research, I ended up choosing this Tiffany blue color, which I was actually happy with. I think it looks good. It's a nice pop of color. I tried to do cow, you know, spots on it too, but that didn't work. So I just repainted over it and, you know, just kept it simple. Just a nice bright blue. So now that I got both sides painted, it's dry. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue it onto the mirror. And I just have this crazy glue right here and this is what I'm going to use to glue it down to the mirror and I'm just going to be gluing down these portions. I don't know if I'm going to be gluing down all of them just because some of them are just above the mirror and I don't want to bend it the wrong way so the ones that are touching I'm going to go ahead and just glue down. So it is glued on now. I ended up gluing it in a few spots. So I try to glue it in every single one of these swirl pieces that go into the mirror, but some I wasn't able to, but most of them I was able to either glue it here and here, or I was able to glue it here. So it seems pretty sturdy on here. I don't think it's going anywhere. So this mirror is finally done. back at another value village looking for some art prints. This one's kind of cool. I kind of like this like geometric style right here. I have no idea how much it is. Ooh, or this one. Oh my goodness, this one's so cute. I think this might be my winner. Look at that. What the heck? Oh my gosh, it's vintage. The bay. Okay, 100% getting this. I need a cart. Look at these two vases. They kind of remind me of my mushroom lamp, but unfortunately they're just like really big, so I have no space for them. So I'm pretty much done painting the dresser, just a little bit of touch up. So now the next thing I wanna do is add the wallpaper. I just picked this up from Lowe's. I ended up getting this cloud wallpaper right here. I honestly didn't have much selection so I thought this one might be cute just to have this on the bottom on the wood here just for the shelves. I thought that'd be nice and cute just to have this clouds and it, because it came with so much I'm thinking I was like oh maybe I should put it on one wall but then I'm like oh is it gonna look like a baby's room if I put it on wall one wall because they actually called this like a baby's print these clouds but I, I like it so I'm gonna get started on putting the wallpaper on each of these shelves here. Hopefully it's not too hard. It's just a peel and stick one. And then the other thing I picked up was this 
this art at Valley Village. I was so happy when I found it there. I think it's gonna be perfect, but I'm kind of second guessing the frame now. I'm not sure that I'm a fan of this dark brown, so I think I might be painting this tomorrow to kind of spice it up. But if I can get this dresser done today, like tonight, because it's, it's nighttime now, tomorrow will just be touch-ups and putting stuff on the wall, which will be really exciting. The, the best part of a room makeover, pretty much. So for this step, in order to get the wallpaper on these wooden shelves, I ended up just cutting it with an X-Acto knife and a ruler and cutting it to the measurements that I measured for each of these shelves. And then once I had that square, I just took it and I just peeled the backing off and stuck it down. The nice thing about this is that you could peel it up and retry when it wasn't aligned right. So this process was a little tedious, but it was actually not that difficult. I think it looks a lot better. I really like it. I just have to add some more green paint here, touch up there, and then my cabinet's finally done. <laughs> so I'm hoping today is my final day with this room makeover. I'm hoping, but I keep saying that like, oh, today's the last day, like I'm gonna finish it today and it never happens. So when I say today, I mean this weekend, probably tomorrow I'll still be working on it and probably Monday I'll be still working on it because it's Saturday, but I'm hoping that I, at least I can get majority done so there's just like touch ups the next few days. So the first thing we are gonna be doing are the mirrors. We're gonna be putting up the mirrors first and then my pegboard and then hopefully some art. I am gonna buy some art off Etsy and then just print it here because I just got some frames from Ikea this morning. So that's the plan is to kind of put things up on the wall today. So after like seven tries, we got it up. We got it up. It was a little bit more difficult than we anticipated. So let's hope the next set of mirrors aren't as difficult. Put the mirror up, draw a line, screw these things in, and then you just pop them in and then you put the screw on top. Okay. Doesn't seem too difficult. got all of the pieces that you need on the wall to hold the frame up and they come with these gray pieces here but I'm not a huge fan of the color so I'm just gonna paint them all white so they kind of blend into the wall better before we put the mirrors up. Now that I have all the mirrors up, I gotta tackle this area right here above my desk, the area that I'm gonna be staring at the most in my room. So I'm laying out all my frames and my pegboard on the ground here, and this is what I'm thinking. My pegboard closest to the window, and then have these frames, the one I just thrifted, and then these frames, and then this is actually a mirror there I picked up, so I just picked up those frames from Ikea this morning, and then I'm gonna go on Etsy and buy a whole bunch of art prints for them. So I'm not a huge fan of my pegboard, but it is very practical because I can hang my scissors and all my sewing supplies there. So that is why I kept it. And then I just got some picture frames from Ikea and then I bought some off Etsy, some of the artwork for it just to spice it up and make that space a little bit nicer, a little bit more trendy. So I hung up on my picture frames before I even chose the artwork because I wanted to know where each frame was gonna go. And then I was gonna buy the artwork for each frame afterwards. And then I had some leftover clay, so I ended up making two more swirly mirrors late that night, and then I painted them some vibrant colors, and then I printed out my prints off Etsy. I don't even, I don't even know what day it is now. It's probably been about 10, 10 days, maybe. I don't know. I remember I thought at the beginning of this video that it would be like a two day thing. And now I'm sitting here like 10, 12, 14 days, not 14, maybe 10 days later. Maybe seven, I'm not really sure. I'm sitting here a lot of days later and I'm still not done, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking, 
I'm 99% sure that I'm gonna finish today. I just had to put final touches on. I finished this. I got some artwork off Etsy. Like, look at look at this one right here. Isn't that one incredible? That's that's definitely my favorite one, and it fits really well with this scripted piece I have there. So. I'm excited, I'm almost done. I made some more squiggly artwork and I also have these little mirrors from Ikea. So I'm gonna put those together, put them on my wall, finish this wall up, you know, decorate it a bit, put the decor ever I want to, and then it's finally time for the reveal. So enjoy this little montage of me finally putting the final touches on this room. Other than that, that's it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more thrifting content, DIYs, and thrift flips. But um, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I'm just gonna enjoy this room. So I'll see you guys on Wednesday for my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>